Gurney, Illinois is a little prairie town just one hour north of Chicago with one big attraction, Six Flags Great America. The 300-acre park hosts some of the most extreme gravity-defying coasters on the planet. And if there's one that can't be missed, it's X-Flight, a revolutionary winged coaster. The wing concept has you sitting outside the rails on either side, so you don't see any track. There's nothing above you or below you. This winged beast boasts five inversions, including a number of unique Air Force-themed elements. You ready? I'm scared. This is going to be awesome. Coaster fanatic Scott is here today with his friends Christy and Shelly to share his obsession of X-Flight. I've read next flight a couple hundred times at this point. See how close you come? That support? Thanks yeah. for pointing that out. Yeah. I'm so nervous. I get nervous when I go on roller coasters, though. The trio take their seats as they get ready for liftoff. <laughs> My harness felt a little loose, and I was kind of freaking out. I was like, can we make this thing a little tighter? All clear. As the train swiftly scales the 120-foot lift hill, riders take in breathtaking views of the park. Oh, my God. You definitely are a little scared because you can see what's coming ahead of you. This fighter jet is about to make a descent they'll never forget. <laughs> Gurney, Illinois, a small town just outside of Chicago that's bursting with excitement. It's the home of Six Flags Great America. Coaster junkie Scott and his daredevil work buddies Christy and Shelly are perched at the top of the lift hill on X-Flight, the ultimate flying coaster. All of a sudden, you're just upside down and looking at the sky. X-Flight sails through a smooth 180-degree glide, then ferociously flies down the 120-foot drop at 55 miles an hour. It's a little terrifying. Next, the airtime machine soars into a zero-G roll. You feel really close to the ground, and the pressure of the harness gets tighter and really pulls you down. Swooping down into a cloud of fog, the winged coaster makes an aerial maneuver through an Immelman loop and snaps to the right, directly into another zero-G roll. It kind of like flips your legs all the way around. Time for X-Flight's big finish, an inline twist through the control tower. Whoa. I noticed myself kind of like crouching, making myself smaller. The ride finally touches down and returns the cadets to the station. Oh my god, that was awesome. It was amazing. The last step is to score the soaring speedster. Uh, late the ride. Not the longest ride on Earth. Kind of short. I mean, yeah. 70. Yeah, yeah. It's the best roller coaster I've ever been on, for sure. It was a good time.